their life on Mars. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. The search for life on Mars dates back centuries. In the 1800s, people like Trinity College's William Huell theorized that Mars might have seas, land masses, and even forms of advanced life. When Giovanni Schiaparelli first described what he thought were canals or channels on Mars, interest in the planet skyrocketed. Many of the early claims were disproven, the canals were primarily illusions, and later studies indicated that environmental conditions on Mars were not conducive to life as we understand it. The radiation, extremes in temperature, and more all spelled doom for most known life, save for some extremophiles. It seemed almost conclusive. There was most likely no life at all on Mars, not to mention any intelligent, sophisticated civilization. However, not everyone agrees. Here's where it gets crazy. The theories and conjecture about life on Mars can be divided into two broad categories. First, the idea that some form of microbacterial life exists or may have existed on the planet. The second, more outlandish group of theories claims that there is evidence of ancient, sophisticated life on Mars. While the vast majority of Earth's scientific community dismisses this second category, it is not without its advocates. For example, author Richard Hoagland claims that advanced civilizations once existed not only on Mars, but also on some moons in our solar system. Furthermore, Hoagland claims that NASA and the US government have worked to suppress evidence of these civilizations. Primarily, these claims are based on photographs which, according to those who believe in the theories, show evidence of ancient ruins such as pyramids or even sculptures. One of the most prominent photographs is the so-called Face on Mars, a photo that, to Hoagland and others, seems to be a gigantic humanoid face carved into the Martian landscape. Scientists such as Michael Carr, a leader of the original Viking imaging team, note that no one with scientific credibility believes these claims. Yet this photograph is not the only evidence claimed by those who believe advanced life existed on Mars. There are also claims of ruins built in discernible mathematical patterns and purported commonalities between ancient ruins on Earth and ruins on Mars. There's a big question here. If NASA did find evidence of life on Mars, then why bother to cover it up? Wouldn't it reinvigorate mankind's exploration of space? According to NASA and most of the scientific community, there's simply nothing to report. However, according to Hoagland and others, there's something NASA doesn't want you to know. But what about microbacterial life? What about life on nearby moons? Stay tuned and learn more in our second episode. 